it doesn't matter what shape or size you are, there is a skirt out there for every one of you chicks. And the great thing about customising is, once you've worn something and you've got bored of it, you can chop it, you can slice it, you can splice it and transform it into something brand new and amazing. What I'm going to do with this old maxi skirt here is, it has some good wear and tear, is I'm now going to make that into a mini skirt. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to take the bottom, the cute little frill here, and we are going to bring it up to here. But what we need to do is, we need to chop all of that fabric off beforehand. So what I'm doing with this skirt here is, I'm going to be cutting up the seam and then cutting straight across the skirt. So we just need to make sure we're going to cut it at the right length. We're going to go for the second seam. What we need to do is get the scissors out and actually we're going to work up the side of the seam this time purely because I don't want to cut the whole thing at once. So we're going to go up the side seam. Now remember beforehand, it was long and hippified looking. Well now, check out this. How cool is that, eh? I mean, to be honest, you could almost leave it like that, but not with me. I'm going to transform this into a super cool, unique mini instead. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take the frill from the inside of the maxi skirt. Now you need a bit of brute strength to do this, um, because it's quite tough. Once you think you've got enough of the fabric, you just... Cut it off like that. Go on to the end of the seam, actually. You lob that away. We don't need that any longer. And what you do is, you then take the rough edge like that, and then you match it up underneath the skirt, whatever height you think you want it at. So, I want it about that height. So you have to pin it in place. Now, I'll tell you what would have really worked well on this mini skirt is things like shells, which is so lovely because sometimes your inspiration can come from absolutely anywhere. So, getting inspiration from the beach is lovely. So, sewing in little shells that you've collected on your holidays. Okay, so once you think you've got enough fabric around the bottom, you can then trim it off. I'm not going to trim it all off, just leaving a little bit just in case. I think I'll cut it there. I'll just tuck that over. So let's just let's just do that. So as you can see, what we've got now, ignore that bit that's hanging out, is a cute little frill just under the hemline there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some gorgeous ribbon, which I've chosen this one. I think it's kind of almost like a belt already. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply pin it in place across the top of the skirt like that and then I'll sew it, and it almost becomes kind of like a hippie belt. So, what I do is, I put it in place, get my pins out. Right, again, I'm gonna leave that little bit hanging, just in case I need it. And voila, a gorgeroony little mini that is going to give you maxi confidence. Now, if you want to find out any of my hints and tips, then log on to beinggirl.co.uk. Right, I'm going to leave that aside for the moment because I can hear a certain little mini skirt crying for attention that needs a bit of decoration. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing next. <laughs>